Hello viewers, former President Donald Trump's statement before this month urging termination of the Constitution and setup of him as president underscores the urgency of prison motion to bar him from ever once more occupying the White House. But before we proceed, if you are new to my channel, please kindly take a minute of your precious time, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell for latest updates from us. As I defined in a latest commentary, could Trump marketing campaign from jail? Absolutely, November 17, a crook conviction, even incarceration, would no longer bar him from running, triumphing and serving again. The identical constitution he desires to set apart establishes solely three unique eligibility requirements. 35 years of age, herbal-born citizenship, and residency in the U.S. for 14 years. Lack of a crook record, even a felony, is no longer one of them. It is well worth revisiting as we ponder the horrific opportunity that the 45th president may end up the 47th. None of the multitude of contemporary investigations related to Trump's behavior for the duration of or given that his presidency is directed to that disqualification provision. So right here is a modest proposal. Let a separate, freestanding, non-criminal civil intending be initiated, invoking the insurrection clause of the 14th Amendment. Such an strategy would provide countless benefits over ready and hoping for the different crook complaints to play out unfavorably for the former president. As a threshold matter, this would be a lawsuit, problem to a much less laborious burden of proof, a preponderance of evidence, alternatively than the stringent beyond a reasonable doubt fashionable utilized in crook prosecutions. Such a swimsuit additionally may cross greater rapidly than the ponderous lawsuits of a crook character. Alacrity would be aided by using drawing upon the voluminous proof already gathered and about to be posted through the January 6 committee in the House. Even so, there are some excessive hurdles that would have to be surmounted to proceed in this way. A couple of Section 3 lawsuits have failed towards individuals of Congress and January 6 cheerleaders Rep. Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia and Rep. Madison Cawthorn of North Carolina, who used to be defeated this spring in a Republican primary. But their involvement in the insurrection, whilst disgraceful, used to be reputedly plenty much less huge than the ex-presidents. Meanwhile, the criminal doctrine of standing poses a sizable if surmountable obstacle. That tenet, requiring that a litigant pursuing a lawsuit should have a discernible individualized stake in the case and its outcome, is a quandary on interlopers initiating litigation. A 14th Amendment lawsuit by way of a man or woman litigant may also run aground on this basis. But why ought to it? Nothing in the 14th Amendment describes or limits who can convey such a claim. Any herbal individual or series of them who are eligible, registered voters in any phase of the United States of America, would seem to have ample stake to are looking for a judicial statement of ineligibility below the insurrection provision. Alternatively, a Secretary of State, like Minnesota's Steve Simon, whose job is to certify candidates for the ballot, ought to undertake the initiative. If now not them, then who? What is your take on this video please drop your comments below and thanks for watching.